Hello everyone, Crydox here, and welcome back to Satisfactory 1.0. Since the last episode, um, I've had a nice sleep and uh, <laughs> refreshed for more satisfactory -ing today. I just went and grabbed some more quartz um, and automated shatter rebar here, so I don't have to keep uh, manually crafting that all the time. And it is a little bit of spaghetti for now. Um, eventually I'll have an area for non-standard factory stuff, but for now, this is fine. Um, so yeah. I do have to manually insert the quartz right there. But other than that, it's fine. So that way I don't need to constantly be crafting shatter rebar. And let me put the iron rebar in there. Cool. So in this episode, we're going to work on uh, more power. I'd like to get sulfur. Um, do I have the resources right now for a dimensional depot? I do. So what we're going to do is we're going to go get sulfur thrown into a dimensional depot. And then I can start doing the noblesks to explode rocks when I need to, which will be nice. All right. So closest one is that way, followed by that way. Um, even I've already got a lot more stuff in this direction. Oh, that's impure though. And that one's pure, okay. Hmm. Well, it's only going into a dimensional depot, so the impure is fine. So we'll just head this way. I'm still not sure if the Explorer is faster or not. It's faster if I know where I'm going and there's sort of dirt roads there. It's definitely slower if I have to all-terrain it. It's also a little janky when you hit rocks, but you know, that's why you don't hit rocks. It is just really fast in a straight line, so I do like that. Okay, where exactly is this sulfur? Mm, still pretty far. That way? Yeah, that way. Alright, so... Unfortunately... I forget, can't this thing, like, sort of go up mountains? This might be a little too steep. I seem to remember it's kind of crazy what this thing can do. But the problem is those are sloped in the wrong direction. Maybe I can drive up the tree? No? Okay, fine. I'll go around. And you can't scan while you're driving. I gotta do that again. That'll keep working while I'm driving. Did. So there's a weirdness right here I want to share with you guys. Um, I cannot find. There is a Mercer sphere. Uh, like right here. You can see it disappears. So it's it's above me or below me. It certainly is not above me. There's nothing up there. And I can't find any caves that seem to go here. You might think there would be a cave entrance over here. Uh, but I've gone over there. And there is no cave entrance. I show you. I show you. I think like you could you could get in from the side or something. But there's nothing. There's no little gaps. There's no way to get in. I even thought that might be it for a second. It looks very promising in here. And then there's nothing. So... I don't know how you get to that Mercer Sphere. Um, there's no gaps in this wall. doesn't seem to be any rocks that you could blow up either. So, 
I'm not really sure. Unless there's one, maybe there's one over here that's hiding. Like behind a bush or something. No. No, there's none in this rock face either. So yeah, I'm not really sure. I don't know how you get to that Mercer Sphere. It could be, I know they used to have some uh, that were maybe not glitched is the right word, but uh, impossible to get to. Like they're flipped into the terrain or something. I know there were some various things like that in the early access, so maybe that's what's happening. I love that you can just pop the parachute to go up those little hills. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to get to this Mercer Sphere. There doesn't seem to be a way to do it. Um, it's really weird. And I feel like there was one on top of that. It was either a slug or a Mercer Sphere or a summer slug. Something was on top of that that I already got. But the Mercer Sphere seems to be... Maybe it's deep underground. Maybe there's a really deep underground tunnel that it's connected to. I'm not sure. But regardless, we continue on. Didn't seem to work. Hello? Oh. meters it's right here of course surrounded by enemies all right the good news is we have power nearby so I can ooh and I have mark two miners I forgot about that I forgot all about that dimensional depot that right in. That's all we gotta do. This burner. Biomass burners are not needed anymore. Sweet. Oh, that's so nice. Now, obviously, that's not going to be a ton of sulfur, but it is automated sulfur that I can grab out of the depot and put into research and stuff, so... Because I don't need, like, fully automated thousands of nobelisks here. I just need... I'm going to call them nobelisks because it's the word obelisk after an N. I'm not certain if there's a correct pronunciation to that or not. Explorer lives over here now. Build another one on the other side. <sighs> Alright, so sulfur plus, is it coal? I think to make black powder. Um, I did put a little thingamajig. What the? <laughs> I just tried to jump and it must have been even know. I, I must have been right when I was mid-air from that, and instead of jumping, it activated the parachute. I don't even, I don't even know what just happened. Um, anyway, I did put a thing over here to grab some coal for my personal personal use. Grab that. We should be able to grab sulfur out. And what did we... Oh, a hard drive scan. Um, 
Steel rods and fine concrete. I've rejected both of you guys so many times. Hmm. Hmm. Now we're talking. Um. Bolted frame. I think we already looked at that one and we liked it because it's so much faster. And that allows us to summer sloop more effectively. Uh, but this one... Is this really good? This seems really good. So, normally four ingots in a constructor would get me 15 a minute. So 24 ingots would get me six. And it's produced in a foundry, weirdly enough. Um, so I would expect it to be produced about twice as fast, but it's three times as fast, so the rate is a lot better. And 16 concrete is producing three steel beams. And 16 concrete is about 48, exactly 48 limestone. So 48 limestone is taking the place of 12 steel ingots, which is 24 iron and coal mixed together. But considering I'm not using limestone for much else right now, I think that might be the play for when I need lots of steel beams. Did I hear the Ada Windows joke? Maybe? I've heard Ada say a lot of things. I've forgotten a lot of them at this point. Um, okay, so we need to just grab two more sulfur. Research that. Research completed. Black powder recipe unlocked. New sulfur research available. Experimental power generation. Maybe this is where... What, what's in here? Geothermal? Is this geothermal? No, it's turbo fuel. Research completed. Okay. Experimental power generation research options are now available. These may enhance performance of other fuel sources. Explosive rebar? I like the sound of that. Um... Cluster Nobelisk? Oh my gosh, that's gonna be amazing. Uh, anyway, so we need that guy, which requires 50 of the black powder. And then what was... I already lost. I really wish it would keep the same window open that you had last time. That's kind of a... What's the best word for it? Like, obviously, it's, a, it's an annoyance. It's not a big gameplay deal, but it's actually started to annoy me significantly. Because when you go back, you know, you're like, oh, I need to go grab those materials. And then you come back and then you have to reselect it. It's just a lot of work. OK, so I need the encased industrial beams and 100 black powder. But another hand equipment slot is a big deal. So we'll be working on that as we can get the, whatchamacallit, the sulfur. OK, I am going to handcraft to 50 of these so I can do that research. And then, can we handcraft black powder? I hope we can. And I think, I think phase two is gonna happen. We're gonna start working on that. Because now that I have Mark three belts, I can work on overclocking a lot of my miners and basically using my infrastructure that I already have to get a lot more uh, throughput. Oh, maybe it's an equipment. Yeah, black powder is ammunition, so. We gotta do it that way. And we get two black powder per sulfur, so that's nice. And I needed, was it 100? I already forgot. Explosive rebar might end up being even better than shatter rebar, and I've really been enjoying the shatter rebar. But we'll see. Let's see what we need. Okay, sulfur. I need some more steel pipes, which will be a good a good thing for dimensional depot, but I only have one Mercer sphere left, so I don't think I'm gonna do steel pipes quite yet. How did I end up with so many of those? 
Are we still making steel? We are. Okay, it's just very slow. We already know why it's very slow. It's because we don't have enough iron input. We only have 60 a minute. Alright, there we go. Nobelisk done. Smokeless powder requires plastic. Detonator and basic Nobelisk unlocked. Most obstacles can be cleared with the basic Nobelisk. It is most effective against organic material yeah, and is. is able to destroy small boulders and porous rock. Deployed Nobelisks will stick to the first solid surface they touch and cue on the universal detonator. If you do not recall the order in which you deployed the Nobelisks, remember Fixit <laughs> does not take responsibility for any harm caused due to human error, even if those errors are genetic. <laughs> AKA, if you're an idiot, it's not our fault. All right, sweet. Another hand equipment slot. Always will take one of those. Kind of like an extra Tool inventory belt expanded. slot. I compounded Sulphur's tristatic atom matrix into a quadrimensional gate vortex. You can now carry more stuff. You can now carry more stuff. I've got all the things. Uh, I probably want food next to my weapon and then the scanner next to the zip line. Maybe I don't I don't use the chainsaw very much anymore, so maybe I do it this way. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and now we can make some nobies. Maybe I don't know, 40 of them. And our Caterium node was covered, so we can now automate Caterium stuff if we want to. And, I don't know, other stuff. I need the noblest detonator, though. How do I make that? Oh, I need an object scanner. Yeah, I can do that. Do that. There we go. Sweet. Now we got the boom booms. Maybe that's what should be here instead of food. Aha, yes. Hooray! Your third crash, that's so weird. I haven't had any yet, so I don't know. I wonder if it's a, you know, interaction between software and hardware, just not doing things the way they're supposed to. Okay, do I need to do any other sulfur research right now? I don't think so. Quartz. Um, I can get the radio signal scanning once I have motors automated. Power slugs, that's a late game automation. Oh, I can do this, the nutritional processor. I just need some more wire here. I don't know what that is, so I'm excited to see. You're right, it could be map related. Maybe that area of the map has a weird crash related to it. I assume if it was that broad though, um, it would be pretty high up on the list of the like people reporting it. Ugh. It's so annoying when you go to crouch slide and you happen to be on a little hill that is too uh, too steep for you to slide. Alright, what was I gonna do with this thing? Alien. I can do that now, too. All the hand equipment slots. Ugh. I don't know if I like how many Mercer Spheres I have to find. <laughs> We're gonna have to do a big Mercer Sphere hunt at some point. Um, I can do AI limiters if I want to and get the smart splitter. So that's a thing. Medical properties. I think I just have... Yeah, ten statters. Am I out of mycelia, though? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. I'm gonna have to go get some more mushrooms. Um... But yeah, what's this? 
Wait, I already have this. Research shows potential for processing planetary nutrients for pioneer benefit. Nutritional inhaler research available. Don't I already have that? Am I, am I crazy? Is there just two different ways to unlock it? I feel like if that's the case, it should basically show that this is already unlocked. Or is there two different ones? There might be two different recipes. Nutritional inhaler recipe unlocked. Using this inhaler there will restore two. health okay. and also gives your skin a radiant glow that is connected to well-being and probably not radioactivity. Alright, sweet. I might as well make some since I'm holding all my food right now. And I can carry those around for emergencies. Alright, I'm out of nuts. Did I grab... Oh yeah, I was gonna say, I'm like, surely I have more. Alright, that's all the food we have. Look for 18 more. Nice. Nice. That should last a while. Given that they're a full heal. Good morning, demon. How are you doing? Alright, put away the rest of the food. Biomass. I know I probably shouldn't trash it, but I will. Um, I want... I guess I'll just carry portable miners with me. Trash that rebar. I already have a Xeno Zapper in my inventory, I think, right? Yeah, so I can trash that one. Um... I just... Oh, shoot. I lost it. I was gonna say I want to make more filters. That's what it was. But I need more mycelium fabric. I only have 12 fabric. So that's probably not worth it. Um, and then the other thing I was just about to do... There was one more upgrade I saw. Where was it? Was it this one? Yeah. So I need five of the DNA and then 500 of the steel. And then I can... Um, get another, in, not inventory slot, but hand slot, which is nice. Uh, Dave, uh, have you tried updating your graphics card drivers? That could certainly be one cause of crashing. And I need 500, so I'll grab a little bit more from over here. Alright, sweet. That'll do it. I forget which one it was in, though. Uh, was it alien technology? No, alien megafauna? There we go. And what's that one? That one needs the high-speed connectors, and then I can scan for enemies if I really wanted to. I doubt I'll want to be doing that very often. But... Tool belt expanded. No alien organisms were harmed during the creation of this tool belt. Okay. I think I like that order because then I can go from the scanner to the zip line or the scanner to my weapon and then the weapon to uh, healing. And the zapper I really only have because I might need it once in a while for. Uh, in fact, I should just make the basher while I'm sitting here. Um, that's only for those stupid little flying annoyances. Uh, okay, so one more zapper. Why, where is it? There it is. Okay. You know, basher. And there we go. I do like the look of the basher. It is cool. And it's got the little, the little wrench, little wrench dangly. Um, 
Okay, so let's actually do some factory stuff. I would like to... I think I want to do a lot of things at once. More power is probably the first thing I should do. Um, we can overclock that coal node and get more out of it now that we have Mark III belts over here. But the problem is the water. We're going to have to bring water from over there. So let's make sure we've got everything we need for water extractors and a bunch of pipes. Yep, those are all in the dimensional depots. And then Mark III belts, we've got what we need to build those. And I've got my power shards with me, I think. Yep, 46 of them. So, cool, cool, cool. I don't need to be carrying around 130 statters. Oh, and then shatter rebar, I have automated. I can grab that and let me grab the sulfur here. Sweet. And quartz. Got a decent amount left. Let me go grab, there's some more in the back seat of the little explorer here. <laughs> you prefer your tool belts with alien harm? Wait, what? Alien harm? I don't know what you mean. Okay, off we go. I think. Maybe I should use the explorer. Nah, forget the explorer. Who needs it? Who needs it? Is a launcher gonna do me any good? I'm curious to see how far we can go on a launcher these days. Um. Oh, it was made without harming alien life. Yeah, I see. Okay, so not very far, and then... Did this... I think that slowed me down. Yeah. Yeah, so the parachute halts your horizontal momentum to the point where there's not much of a point um, in trying to do a launcher with it. If you wanted to get over some obstacles, it would be a good way to do things, but... Oh my gosh, I'm going in the completely wrong direction. Ooh. Let's test out our first... Does this work? I don't actually know if this works. Oh, come on. Really? That should totally work. That's disappointment. Disappointment galore. So here's our coal power plant. Not sure. I need an entrance on this side, don't I? Um, let's do a ramp and a door. I'd like to fit more in here. So 
So we've already got the six running, so then this would be eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, perfect. Perfect. And then we've got mark three belt. I need different water. Dummy. <sighs> I need the other water, that's the whole point. In fact, I can delete that because one pipe can only handle six. Why is that one not running? Did I break you? Oh, it's just not needed, maybe? No. No, it is out of water. Uh oh. Six times forty five is two hundred and seventy. Oh, the reason there were dips is because I deleted some water just now. That's what happened. Okay. Because I do have the exact pumping rate um, coming from the whatchamacallits. So. The, yeah, I'm not getting any extra. You guys get what I'm saying. here. Zoop down. Gosh, I can't believe people played this game without zooping. I can't believe anyone ever played this game without zooping. That just makes no sense to me. Zooping is so much easier. It's crazy. We had to click so many times. You updated your drivers and now Satisfactory also got an update. Yeah, maybe that'll fix things for you. Maybe you'll get lucky. Alright, I really need uh, my Celia. I need to go collect some soon. Because I'm start I'm on down to eight filters. Alright, this is not a very big pond either, but it should be big enough for us to get water. And I always like to build them, you know, as close as you can to the edge so that you can hopefully fit more water extractors. This is one system um, uh, that I don't love because of this. It's so finicky and if you if you work really hard with the finicky bits, you might be able to fit one more extractor. And I don't know if I love that. I think I'd prefer if it was like geothermal or whatever, where there were like deep water spots and you could just place so many um, on a certain body of water rather than having to like try to position them exactly so you can get the most. I don't know if I love that system. Um, so we're going to 270. Actually, what I might do is instead I'll just do 150, I'll overclock a single one, and then just build a second one. Because that'll save me some power. How high is a, strain, a train station? I have no idea, Violent Shadow. I haven't worked with trains in a long time, and I barely touched trains when I did, so. 
don't, uh, don't presume I know anything about trains. All right, I need to make like a, maybe on 10 I'll have pipe stuff. a pump. Um, you get a little bit of head lift from, from those guys, so I should probably go up a little bit. And then put a pump going that way. Oh, you have to click twice? Why do you have to click twice? What's the second click doing? What could I change? I don't know. Um, Alright. Power pole. Get all that powered. Is there power near here already, like going behind it? Power over here for some reason? I don't think so. Just go across the plains. The rains on the plains falls mainly in the Spains. Okay, now the pipe will follow the same path. And people have already been, uh, I say complaining, people have been begging for the horizontal snap mode because you can make it so that it will go you know in a straight line but then like you can't make it so that it stays horizontal so that's a thing um also isn't there a way uh how do you do this Is there a stackable pipeline without the pipeline piece? Can you put them on stackable conveyor poles? Maybe you can do it that way. I feel like that looks really bad. Yeah, okay, that works. Good again. Alright. I may just follow the terrain here. horizontal to vertical, and I may need one more pump. Oh, wait, not there. Up. Oh. Okay, uh, and then power. Back to my normal building. Power. The 
it too far? Yeah, that's too far. That works. Alright. And then... I'm just gonna build this so I can get up there. And then we'll bring the water up. Belts, and we should be pretty much good to go. Um, I guess I need to build the connections here. are just amazing. I just love it. It makes things so much easier. I can't believe people played without those. It's just as hard to hard to imagine. What's up, Kyle? How goes it? Okay, so that's all set up. And then I might not need a pump because that over there is where the pump is. And as long as we're not more than 20 meters above it, we wouldn't need another pump. I'm not certain, though. What, uh, what the situation is for that. But we will find out. See if the water can get up here or not. Um, now it's not powered up, so that's a thing. Let's um, get the power figured out here. You know, I might save myself some hassle and do one for every two. A little bit easier. Oh, jeez. That sucks. Sorry to hear that, Kyle. Man. It's always rough. You have to go to the emergency room or air, whatever it's called. Yeah, not being able to walk is a problem. <laughs> that is a bad thing. Okay, so the pumps are running and we should be seeing some water show up. Maybe see that doing anything yet. May have incon uh, not connected it properly. Those thingies aren't moving at all. Oh, nope, there's a flow rate. Okay. Uh, I also have decided it looks really weird that the power lines are doing a different thing than the, than the pipes, so... have this follow the pipe. is able to do its job or not. We'll find 
down. It's gonna have to fill up a bunch of pipes. <laughs> yeah, Kyle, Ada has said a lot of funny things as it relates to those, uh, at least so far, to the alien artifact stuff. And just in general, I feel like they really, they really amped up the humor to 10. And that's, that's pretty good. Okay, so it's definitely, ah, definitely getting to there, but is it getting high enough? Looks like no. I wish there was a way to know how far down you you can go. Um, I mean, the current amount of water in the pipe, I guess, tells me a little bit. Because if this is, you know, if it has 47 out of 58, it's most of the way full. So if I were to put a pump, like, right there. More than good enough. Um, I will have walls on this side, so I'll have to figure that out. Okay, yeah, that's plenty. Power do pumps take again? Four megawatts. Sweet. On go the new coal generators. So now we just need to upgrade our belts. Mark three. Six of them is 15 each, so it's 90 minutes, so I need 180 of them. Which is just exactly the one power shard amount. Okay. Cool. Uh, something's wrong. Conveyor belt mark three, conveyor lift mark three, but, oh, there's a tiny mark two belt right there, okay. I'm clicking too many times, there we go. There we go, now that's the speed we were, you were expecting. Sweet. All right. Cool. I still need some new decorational pieces to finish this the way I want it to look. Um, and I want windows, which is going to mean I need more uh, uh, quartz. I need quartz automated, and we're going to want dimensional depots for that. Does there happen to be a Mercer Sphere nearby? I always need more Mercer Spheres. Oh, there actually is one. Oh, this is probably the one that I can't get. I bet that's the one this is detecting. It's so annoying! I don't know why I can't find this stupid thing. It's just not... It's not where it says it is. It's gotta be deep underground. That's the only answer. Maybe... So the reason I haven't gone in the poison cave is because it goes over to there. But maybe there's an offshoot in the cave that goes over here? I guess it's worth checking. Um, 
but I was under the impression the cave went a different direction underground. So that's why I hadn't checked that yet. But we might as well look. Might as well check. I'm always, always in the, the market for another Mercer Sphere. can do this. We can do this now. Ouch. Get out of here. Nice. Alright, so that's just like a little shortcut. This is the same same cave. Oh look! I can get some uh mycelia while I'm down here as well. That's nice timing. Ooh, and I can even say goodbye. Sayonara. To you guys. Get out of here. Oh, one more. Oh, there's a lot. It's weird you have to reload, like it should automatically, um, I think it should automatically reload. This doesn't feel like something where having to hit R to reload makes very much sense to me. Okay, so, oh Jesus, didn't even see those. Get out of here. There's only one? Where there were like five. <laughs> there were 50 of them. Um, is there not more mycelia down here? Did I collect it all? Anyway, yeah, that just goes that way. Let's see, is there a Mercer Sphere offshoot? Oh, here. here they are. I don't know why they didn't show up before. Come here. There we go. Gotta wait for their final approach when they come straight at you. And you can one shot them. Okay. So maybe, maybe it is down here that I can get to it. Um, no, no it's not. Unless it's like I go partially up and then there's a little, a little place that I can go further back. back there. Eh. Nope. Nothing. Well, it's like right here. But it's not. Is this the same one? No, this is a different one. Interesting. That one might be above ground. Oh, I think this is the one. Oh, yeah, yeah, never mind. We already know about that one. That one's the one that um, we need the Nobelisks for, which I do have. Oh. Close enough? No. Wait, I thought you could kill these now. Oh, it is dead, okay. It just doesn't look very dead. I assumed it would disappear. Okay, uh, anyway, yeah, I don't I don't think there's a way for me to go get that other Mercer Sphere. Cause it's to the southeast. And there's just nothing over there.
Oh well. Yeah, there's a pretty linear cave here. I'm just gonna ignore that spider. I'm sure it won't come back to bite me. Quite literally. Um, there's poison here, but no... No doodads to blow up. Weird. Alright, get me out of here. really glitchy things sometimes. I don't know exactly how they would improve the behavior, but it does kind of... Because it, like, it's trying to grab onto the wire, but then your body is hitting the power pole or, or something, and then it, like, lets go and then tries to grab again and then lets go and then tries to grab again, and it just kind of gets into this cycle where it keeps doing that. And it ends up not being very... Uh, very effective. Okay, let's get this Mercer Sphere that needs the Nobelisks. I do know about that one. I do know about that one. Right over here, under this arch. And I can take you out. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Show you who's boss. Let me in there. No? Is it under that one? Aha. Whoa! There's like a big pit there. Oh. I assume this goes to the same place. Can you hear me? Crescendo, the effigy found the key. Sing more. I was not created for artistic purposes. I am incapable of singing. Oh, Ada. You sing. Try it. Noted. Try it, Ada. See what happens. Nice. They're friends now. Aw. Ada made a friend. Okay, so I can delete those stamps now. Um... Yeah. Is my coal power done? <laughs> I kind of got distracted with that stupid Mercer Sphere. Uh, I think my coal power's done, right? We should double check on it. But I think we got everything we needed going. The water's pumping. The coal's Mark 3 We have enough coal. We overclocked it to 180. I think it's all done. Ah, so annoying. Let me through! Yeah, they've all got coal in them. They've all got smoke coming out. Beautiful. Beautiful. So there is a solid 900 megawatts we can rely on. And that should last us, I think, through the phase two section. Technically, I have more capacity. But that's uh, the biomass. And I'd rather not... I'd rather not have to use the biomass burners. If... Let's do a uh, lookout tower here. I can find it. Organization. Take a nice little, get a nice little screenshot of our coal power plant. Is that a nice screenshot? I wish you could get a bigger field of view from the photo mode. Um, what you can do is you can go to you know, video, and then field of view. Pump 
that up. 120, I guess. But, uh... There we go. Perfect. Alright. Well, for those of you watching this recording, I think we'll call it an episode. I will keep streaming, so if you're here live, stick around. And yeah, leave a comment, let me know what you think about Satisfactory 1.0. We're already 11 episodes deep, and there's a lot more coming, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.